flew closer to the bank and the wind blew into my hair. I felt alive. It was so refreshing to be away from the hustle bustle of city life and breathe fresh air. Since we were the only visitors to the park that day, we could clearly hear the alluring calls of the jungle, reverberating as the heartbeat of Mother Nature. Nameri National Park is located at the foothills of eastern Himalayas and shares its northern boundary with Pake Tiger Reserve. Nameri is well connected by road to important places like Tejpur, Gohati, Jorhat, Imphal, Naugao and Kaziranga. The nearest airport is Tejpur Airport which is about 35 km from the park and Rangpara Railway Station which is around 21 km away is the nearest railway station. Nameri is a semi-evergreen, moist, deciduous forest having over 600 species of flora. This is probably the only tiger reserve that can be explored on foot. So just imagine yourself coming face to face with a tiger while you're on foot. But don't worry, you will not be allowed into the forest without being accompanied by an armed forest guard. We actually heard a tiger growl softly in the thicket around 50 meters away from us while exploring the forest. Nameri is also an ideal habitat for more than 30 mammals including the elephant, leopard, black bear, gore, wild water buffalo, Indian bison, sambar, wild boar, pygmy hog, clouded leopard, malayan giant squirrel, leopard cat, capped langur and the orange bellied squirrel. Nameri is also a bird watcher's paradise with nearly 400 species finding its way into its ever-expanding checklist. The white-winged wood duck, Assam's state bird, is the most important avian resident of the park, with only 150 pairs remaining of this highly endangered bird in India. We weren't very fortunate to spot this elusive bird but Nameri did not disappoint us and showed us her bounty. The lifeline of Nameri is Jia Bhoroli River, which crisscrosses the area and is the home to Golden Mershi fishes, also known as the Tigers of Himalayan Rivers. Jia Bhoroli provides good rafting opportunities towards the southeast side of the park. The northeastern part of India is the ultimate mecca for a butterfly enthusiast. More than 50% of the species found in India are known to occur in this region. Nameri offers roughly 150 species of butterflies to its visitors. Butterflies are by far the most beautiful creatures on earth. They enchant our eyes and we love to call them the living jewels or the winged beauties.
other than being striking, butterflies also play a significant role in pollination and are indicators of environmental health of the ecosystem. Nameri is also home to a variety of insects and a trip to this enchanting forest is indeed a delight to any naturalist. The best time to visit the park is between November to May. Nameri is an excellent elephant country and is also considered to be an elephant reserve. It was an amazing experience to see the relationship between the Mahut and his elephant Loki at Nameri. Usually, a Mahut starts as a boy when he's assigned an elephant early in its life. They eat, sleep and wake up with their elephants and even plan their day according to the elephant's need. The Mahut spends a lot of time grooming his elephant. He knows what pleases the elephant and would take his elephant to secret places in the vast spread jungle. Like a confidant, she would keep his secrets with her and he would keep caring for her eternally. Some of the good options for staying near Namiri are Jia Bharoli Wild Resort, Lalimao Eco Camp and Namiri Eco Camp with prices starting from 2500 rupees. We had stayed at one of the cottages of Lalimao Eco Camp and were very comfortable. निरामिष खाई आयना प्रेम नदिया खाले जुआर आईले बसिबा